uh, in between races here at Flamborough. Promise Blue Chip is about to go on the track here in about 10 minutes. Uh, I think she's got a pretty good shot to win. Um, she had some road trouble last week, and we were trying to race her a little easy. I don't want to push this filly right now. You know, I think she's got a reasonable chance to be a stake filly in New York this summer. Um, at what capacity, I don't know. But I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to push her to win an hour as a two event at Flamborough. Now, having said that, it might sound worse than it is. Obviously, I want to win the race, but I'm not going to bottom her out to uh, to um, beat up on horses. I feel uh, aren't as good as her, and that's no slight. I mean, she's in with Book the Bet. Book the Bet's a nice filly, but she's not as good as Promise Blue Chip, not in my opinion. But Book the Bet, as we all know, doesn't put forth her best effort. On a, on a week in and week out basis so she could easily bounce forward and be a good filly i'm going to break this into a couple of segments and try and get this done tonight so curtis can get it out he's leaving to go away tomorrow and has asked me to get this done quickly normally i would do this on sunday but i'm going to do what i'm going to have to do to get you guys uh the information on the horses so we're going to start with the race horses first luckily we had no injuries to speak of for the most part a couple of horses jumped on feet and cut quarters and a couple of pop quarter cracks, but nothing that I would call a significant injury this week, which was good. Uh, horses we raced this week, we'll run through those and I'll give you my take on what took place so I can go out and race in the next in the next event. Uh, Rose Run Speedster raced well this week, uh, was fourth or fifth, uh, got gapped a bit in the last turn and he never did race good ever his whole life when that happens. He needs to grind up on a helmet in the last turn and really load up for the stretch and he usually will trot hard down the lane if he can do that. And that he kind of got lost in the last turn and kind of shut off a little bit on me. And come on down the lane and picked up some money, but um, uh, nothing to speak of. But it looks like he's going to do in that class, which is good uh, for now. Airway raced well his first start, finished third. He was on the left line a little bit. And I'd said to Jason, I don't see any lameness. Uh, get his teeth, you know, maybe get his teeth looked at and maybe put a sharper pole. Maybe put a sharper pole on the outside of the colt, on the outside of this colt, so, um, you know, so we can steer him a little better. If I can steer him better, I think that, that um, you know, he'll be first or second again come Wednesday. Now, there was a good colt in with him last week. I heard them announce it in the post parade that this colt that he was racing against is still paid into the North American Cup. Airway is not paid into the North American Cup. Nice little colt but not that caliber of horse. And I'm not sure the other Colt is too. I wish those people all the luck in the world. But uh, I think if Airway's steering a little bit better, a little bit tighter this week, and he has some racing luck, uh, maybe he'll give them a little more run for their money, if you will, this week. Uh, Mystical Mission tried to be a little sneaky. We won at, at Woodbine on Friday. And because the draw for Wednesday in London was Friday morning, he fit the non-winners of 3,000 still, during the draw, so we tried to pull a sneaky one and and uh, double dip, so to speak, and uh, it didn't work out. He was third in London, had some road trouble, was four wide the last three. It's a mile, raced really well, but um, didn't obviously win the race, but raced really well. Redwood again, having a few little difficulties with Redwood again this year. A little different, might look the same as last year, but it's not. A little bit different. Um, put a few steps in, paced him 55 and four last week. Last half, 56 and four, last quarter and 29 seconds into the wind. I thought he had a good showing. Not his best showing, but a good showing. So we'll, um, I think we're going to run him over here to Flamborough next week. I mentioned it to Jason. I said, you know, if you think of it, uh, just curious your thoughts, whether you think this Colt, because we had schooled him at Flamborough and obviously the class is going to, the class relief is going to benefit him. So um, I'll leave it up to Jason, but I, I would imagine you will see this horse next Thursday at Flamborough and he should be a lot more effective in there. Uh, Boston Glide made his first start. He was seventh. The track was extremely heavy. Um, it had snowed like a blizzard right before the races, and I think it probably tired him out a little bit. He did trot in two minutes. I was really happy with that, but um, like to see a better showing next week. He'll you'll see incremental increases with this horse. You won't see him jump off the page and trot in 58 or 57, but you will see him get better every week. Uh, Sally V again didn't get any money. Sixth at Woodbine. But she's there for a while. I think I'd said to Jason after, I thought she raced really well. The transition from the B track to the A track is difficult for some horses sometime. And um, she did it really well. I wouldn't say fantastic, but she did it well. And I think you'll see again, you'll see her get better and better and better. I th I'd like to see her pace in 54 or 55 next week. Um, Broadway Maya tied up, or didn't tie up. Ooh, 
didn't tie up. She was sick. Four out of five. She scoped the other night. For those of you that watched the race or maybe bet on her um, when she races next time, hopefully she'll be back to her old form uh, or form of her two starts prior where she won. Um, pretty hard to race when you're full of mucus. She did as well as she could. Um, who's your muscle? Very difficult filly. Um, nasty little bugger in the post parade. And very difficult to navigate in the race, but fast. Uh, raced well last week, finished third, tried the last half, 58 and three. She's in to go again here tomorrow night. Uh, who else is in? There's one other horse in tomorrow night. Who's your muscle is in? And, uh, oh, now her power is in. I had a call today. He might be claimed tomorrow night. So I guess we'll see. We dropped him down in class. We'll see how he, uh, how he races. Conway Holiday raced poor, as did off Broadway tonight, but track is really, really deep here tonight. And both of them struggled in the off going. Pay the line blue chip raced really well off her qualifier, and um, I'd like to see her get on a roll now. I think if I had, I had driven her a little more aggressively, she would have won the other night at London, or she might have made a break. So I was happy with third beat half a length. Dewey Ann, a little sore. We're going to give her some time off and stop with Dewey Ann. Um, just a little sore right now. I think the corks did her in the last two months, and she tried, but she just needs to mature a little bit, so we're just going to kick her out and give her some time off, see how she comes back. Art Seeker got a little bit of a rough ride the other night. Tough trip. Finished third. Raced good. Um, raced a little bit better than his line shows. He got a, a tough trip. And my boy, Road Tripper, finished fourth. Came out swinging the other night again. Tough trip. Not a tough trip. Tough track. Track was deep. He was in the same race as off-Broadway. Finished fourth. Tried in 59-4. and four. I was very, very pleased with him. You'll see both those Colts Indigo again this Thursday. I'll be back in a little while, and we'll touch on some other horses real soon.